Hey, 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 it's Chrissy Lulu. So, this I got a little bit of something special. So, first off, this is part of an art trade I did with Deo. Um, she's here on YouTube. I'll put her in the cards um, so you can go check out her channel. I don't think she's got a ton up yet, but um, she also has a DeviantArt if you want to check her out there. She's Icy Snowflakes there. Um, so, first off, this is her character, Coral. I had so much fun drawing her. Um, and I also wanted to do a little review on the Prismacolors I got. So, I got some Prismacolors this past holiday season at AC Moore for $10. So, of course, I couldn't really pass that up because um, Prismacolors are normally pretty expensive. And as you can see, I got quite a few of them. So I decided I wanted to try, try them out because I've normally just been using just normal colored pencils and I was like, I wanted to see if these would live up to the hype. <laughs> so I got to use them on this piece and I must say, I was very pleased with them. <laughs> like I kind of was not expecting much of anything from just some colored pencils but they really do work very well they're like smooth like ice cream they like lay down on the paper and they blend so well I mean I'm used to kind of like doing very subtle blending just with pencils and going from one color to another um I use a lot of colored pencils in my drawing classes um, I have a lot of fun adding color into those. So I've been using just, um, it's another um, thing I picked up from AC Moore. Um, what are they called? Um, if you have ever gone to AC Moore, it's the little red tin of their colored pencils. I've been using those and I really like them quite a lot. They're a lot better than <laughs> the ones I had before that, which were um, just the Kohi Noir with this one. Um, the colors are really nice in those. I have so much fun using them, but these colors in this were beautiful. Like every color came out vibrantly. I would love if I could just use these every single time, but um, alas, I don't think I really want to go out <laughs> and buy Prisma colors all the time because could add up. I want to save them for special occasions. Now that's not always a good idea with art supplies because that means you're never going to use them. But um, I definitely would love to use these in the future some more. Um, I actually did the other, the second part of this art trade, which will be coming up soon. It's of another one of Dale's characters, um, Delphine. I'll let you know which one that is. Um, but I had so much fun using these pencils and just seeing how, like, popping these colors were. I honestly, like, right after, like, the first little stroke I did, I was actually amazed. I was, like, in shock. I was like, wow, these are so smooth. <laughs> they don't even feel like they're, like, writing on the paper because there's, like, they're not scratchy, like, colored pencils or just your normal graphite. It's just kind of crazy. <laughs> um, I've also heard of people like lead commonly breaking with um, Prisma colors, so I'm kind of worried about that with them and that making them run out faster than they would just from normal use, but I just bought like... <laughs> A bigger tin of the AC Moore brand um, colored pencils, so definitely need to use those too. <laughs> um, I definitely hope to have more of this coming out soon. Oh, and this is actually not an older piece, shockingly enough. This is actually from last month, it's from um, this January. So, um, yeah, hopefully, I can get even more new art done. 
soon. Um, I have a lot of sketches that are just waiting on the back burner. I found even more sketches that I did last year. I never finished it. <laughs> of course, right after I get back from break and everything, I open up my large tan sketchbook and I'm like, oh, that's where I put the sketches. <laughs> so yeah, um, we might have another little like drought here where it's not a lot of newer stuff, but it is me fixing up and finishing older things because I do like to finish old ideas sometimes, especially if I really like the ideas. Um, and as all pulls off, I want to apologize for any weird noises in this, in this video. Um, I'm back on a college campus, so people can be loud. Um, and I also have a couple of guinea pigs in the room. They can be pretty loud by themselves, too. Um, but yeah, anyways, I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, hopefully you can see how nicely these Prisma colors work for yourself on my piece. And, um, hit that like button. Hit that subscribe button, bell to be notified whenever I upload. I've been uploading pretty consistently on Wednesdays and Saturdays, so check that out. Um, there's going to be a little blip in that, my Saturday video from a little while ago um, didn't upload correctly, so anything like that happens, just let me know. Um, I am I'm not always the one who the closest attention. Um, sometimes exporting videos goes wrong, so what can you do? Um, so yeah, like, subscribe, leave comments, do it. Love to hear your input, guys. Um, I hope you are enjoying what I'm doing and all that jazz. I will see you guys later. Bye!